All right. Hello, Fight Insight fans, viewers, and listeners. This is a different podcast today because I'm on my honeymoon. So I had to do something different while I'm gone, but to continue to pump stuff out. It's my good buddy, Brandon. You've seen him before on episode six. six? I think it was episode six. So uh, Brandon's back. We're going to do some unboxing. So we're going to unbox some UFC cards. We've got a whole bunch here, as you can see on the screen. Uh, what's the prices? 26 bucks for the 30 card pack. 30, 40, and 50, I think. Yeah, 30, 40, 50 bucks. That's Canadian pricing. So let's see what we get in each of these guys. Uh, here we go with the intro. Yeah, it's Timmy B. Yeah. Alright, which one do you want to start with? Um, I'm going to pick this one. Ooh. Because I think I recognize the most names on it. Alright, Prism. So we're going to try and show this as best as we can. So in the box right away, you got Islam, Connor, Valentina, and Ciro Dawn. Sideways, kind of the same thing. Nice. Um, it's just going to go ahead. Yeah, put it in front of there while you open it. So people don't think we're cheating. All right. So we, I don't know who has these cards, right? It's like it's been hard. It, no, but it's been hard to find these cards. Like I didn't know where to get these cards. And then I saw boxes for like thousands of dollars. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh and people God. are spending like a lot of money on this stuff. People um, are just hoarding it. Yeah. And then there's a lot of cards that are like limited edition. Maybe we'll get something like holographic or whatever. Yeah. Signatures, things like that. Get look, how, look how empty this box is. <laughs> it's, it's like someone stole the cards out of my box, man. All right. So here's what you get. There's your pack. So you're getting six packs of four cards each. Four cards. Four cards. Not so whatever you get. Yeah. All right. And you're wondering what that screen is over there. I'm going to put these cards so that you know what box you're opening. Boom. Okay, beauty. So All right. Start. Yeah. Let's see what we get. I don't have proper card opening. Do not bend these cards like the Yu-Gi-Oh people. <laughs> have you seen them the way that they open the cards? Though? Yeah. It's like super like professional. Intense. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what we're looking for. I don't know what the value of these cards are, but we'll figure that out. And if you guys know what these things are worth. Let us know. Okay. I guess I cheated already. Or whatever. Ooh. So that looks pretty good. I don't know if this is the front or the back. I saw the other card here. Oh, okay, okay. And there's some stuff. All right, yeah, make sure it's good in the camera. Okay, so this so, is one side of the card. This is another side of the card. I feel like this is the back. No, no, this is the front, the prism. Really? This is prism card, so I guess they're all gonna look like this. How come the backs are like right, no okay. spoiler alerts? All right, let's see what we got. First one, Alex. Volkanovsky. Always a solid card. Yeah. This is not bad, actually, for a first pull, but it's not shiny or anything. The back is. Oh, it is. That's oh. something. Because I know I've read that, like, that's a green prism. Can you get oh, that? Oh, okay. All right. That's, that's pretty like a cool. Version of that. Okay. You got to put that yeah. one in the fancy one. That's cool. Hold on. Can you see that? Can you see that it's green? That looks pretty good, man. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Volkanovsky, the great. Second like one, Carol Rosa. Carol Rosa. Brandon, tell me everything you know about Carol Rosa. Oh my gosh, she's fantastic. She does, you know, the thing with the stuff. Yeah. She's a UFC Brazilian. fighter. Sometimes a fighter hits a spot in which they achieve so much success before becoming a big name that it becomes difficult to find an opponent. Carol Rosa just might be there. The Brazilian competitor looked great in winning each of her first four octagon fights and is ready to take on tougher foes to continue moving forward. Who knows, maybe that one will be worth something. Maybe. So the green ones are the big ones and these ones are I think so because I think all the prisms are going to look like this like with the silver shining but it's nice though. They look cool like they look textured but mm -hmm. they're very flat. Yeah, looks good. Interesting. Okay, next one, Leon. Whoa. This oh, the champ. This is a new one. Like, the, well, the champ is here, baby. It's not updated. Some fighters see the long route to the top and this method is going to pay off for Leon Rocky Edwards. Edwards scored with Win after win over World's Weight Foes to force his way into the big picture. And now that he's there, his success will just continue with a nine-fight win streak from 2016 to 2021. So we definitely got these cards before the, the big win. Yeah. Um, so it may be like a, a sleeper item. This looks really cool. Actually. That looks good, man. I like That's a good photo. Yeah. Yeah. They highlighted his boys are holographed. That's pretty shiny. good. The last one. 
Dan Eager. That's that the sounds... one we saw. Dan Ige. Ige. 50K Ige, right? Yeah. that's. I feel like I just saw him. All right. Ige's matchup with Edson Barbosa at UFC Fight Night over him versus Harris was a spirited battle, pouring out punches for the full 15 minutes. Fiery featherweight went toe to toe with another competitor. Known for exciting fights and earned a split decision win for a sixth straight victory. I do not like anybody that beats Edson Barboza. Mm. It's my man. All right. Well, that's a green prism or whatever the hell you want to call that's, it. That's a Volk is a great card that people are gonna get mad that I don't know what these things are called, but okay. Okay, we're learning. All right, well, at least one green one. Now here's the thing. If anybody wants any of these cards, just text me that you are just Put in the comments that you want any of these cards. I don't care. I will mail them to you for free. Six dollars. Wait, what? Yeah, that's free. Mailing. Yeah. Oh, they're thick. Yeah. They feel like. Here, oh, that's not a time. card. They feel good. You try this next no. Time. If you want any of these cards, just put it in the comments that you want. Like, obviously not the green prisms and stuff like that. Maybe I'll keep those. But if you want any of these cards, you just message it in the comments. We'll figure it out and I'll mail it to you. I don't care. These are all free thanks to people that supported the podcast buying some of the stuff that, uh, you know, buying the midday squares and things like that, that made us money. So, all right. So the first one, oh, oh. so the first one is always the biggest one. You think so? so technically, I think oh, we, we should, should open it the other way. Like, yeah, we should like open it backwards and then uh, okay. no, we'll start it, it like this. Yeah. Oh, I like this future champion, Mano Furat. I love this girl. It's a nice picture. Yeah. Like she's Jane future Brown. champion. Count on it. Yeah. You think? Okay, and then so the back, are we gonna read all these? No. I think blah, maybe, blah, maybe blah. for the big ones. Yeah, we'll read it for the big ones. All right. So Manol Firat. Oh Tiago, yo, that's these are like these are nice cards. Yeah. Can you see that? That is nice. It's got a stupid. I mean it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. Tiago Santos. Wow. Oh my boy that never fights. This is a good one. This is uh Mr. Uh, Mrs. Chiamev. Yeah. Mrs. Chiamev. Beautiful. Darren Till. And. Wow. That one looks really good. Fearless. That looks really good. What's the other That's pretty cool. Like? This Wait, must this be special in some way. Though. I know, but it looks different. Number four. Former UFC. These are pretty, I'll tell you that. Yeah. These are 2022. Former UFC heavyweight champion Jan Blackowitz took the long route to the title, winning the belt in the 15th octagon matchup. Blackowitz hopes he can use his story as an inspiration to others. I just want to show kids to never surrender. He said, they have to always believe in themselves. Wise words, Jan. Anyways, that's a nice one. That's gotta be something because it says fearless here. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll package this away. Interesting. All right. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We start like the, there's some pretty big Okay, so we're gonna, now we know how to open it. So don't show that side, show the front. I think we're at the point where we're starting to get, we're gonna start getting dupes soon. <laughs> you already got like Darren Till and Leon Edwards and stuff. No, no, it's gonna be fine. Let's, see, let's start from this way. This one's gonna be sideways. Boom. Oh. Okay. Joel, Joel Alvarez. Alvarez. It's one of my favorite fighters. In in a great uh, arm bar here. Beautiful. Looks like. No, heel hook. Got that arm? No, I think. We got that arm. Pretty sure the left arm. All right. Nice tattoos. Spain's Joel. Hold on, hold on. You got to put in the camera here. Oops. We're new at this. Spain's Joel. Yeah, all right. Next. Next. Anybody can have that card. I'll give you two of them. Magomed. Didn't he? Magomed. He the He's just... the guy that beat uh, Santos, no? I, I think it wasn't one, wasn't one of the guys from this camp just quit because of COVID. Wasn't it him? Oh, I don't know. All right. The mix of aggressive. Came inside the distance. And got That's a cool one. Good ones. Joanne, Joanne Wood. Oh. She's a big one. Too. Joanne Calderwood from Team Syndicate. We have had many Team Syndicate fighters on our podcast. We have not had Joanne Wood, but maybe I should get this Joanne Wood. This would be cool Wood to show on. them next time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then, like, you're going to send it to them, or I don't know. Fancy card, fancy card. 24%. Oh. Ooh, bonus machines. This is kind of disheartening now. I feel like. <laughs> this is this is a sad card. Not a great time to get this one. The former interim UFC lightweight champion has earned six fight of the night bonuses. I mean, this is a decent card, but it's not that shiny. Bonus machines. Yeah, it's not. Uh, I wonder if that means performance good. bonuses. Yeah, you know? yeah, it must be. Yeah. Gotta be. What other bonus is it? 
Is that right? This is yeah, right. I'll put this one in a in a case. Mm -hmm. He deserves it at least. Yeah. Some kind of protection. He's not getting it in fights no more. No. <laughs> is he gonna fight again? I talked he... about it. I talked about it just now, just on a recent podcast. We <clears throat> talked about it. And I say no way. Everybody's been shitting on him, but he keeps saying that he wants to. I of course he wants to, but dude yeah. is not right. Like, I don't know. He's just fighting too too tough competition. He needs to pull like a Cerrone and just kind of get keep yeah. a little bit. Like he, obviously he has a mentality that he wants to fight, but yeah, you know he should not be fighting anyone. Yeah, even close to ranked or anything like that. And no like young kids, cut your hair because it looks weird. Ugh. Like this, like just fine. shave it off. Yeah, like that looks fine. This so I have the worst hair. But he I tried to double first. like Oliveira thing, and it was just weird. Yeah. All right. Well, sorry. Right. There you go. So the, the Ferguson. Next, next pack. All right. Two more packs. Oh, this is, uh, this this is going to take us a long time. time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. People are like, hurry up. Open these cards faster. All right. I'll even save these packaging if anybody wants this. Ooh. Ooh. Michelle Pereira. This is, you, you can this is a good this guy. One. No, I'm not keeping this. What do you this want? Nice you one. want any of these cards? You tell me. Okay. Michelle Perea. Oh. What the heck? Francis Ngannou. That's a nice one. Yeah. When he had the title, too. Wait, let's see the Beautiful. back of that one. Oh, wait. You back. can't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Wow. For Francis Ngannou winning the title with such an incredible rush of emotions. Look how disrespectful this guy is. He's fully the champion. He still doesn't even get like the nice holograph. No, no, no. You can get every card in a hologram. You get it That's, in a Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you get the same card in hologram. All right. Solid, solid. This dude. You guys can have this one. Any. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put together a bonus pack. No, no offense to this Ooh, guy. That's good. Guy's watching. All right, here we go. Ready for our fancy card? What the hell? This is garbage. Uh, I mean, okay, I do not like the look of this. Yeah. Is, I mean, this has to be something fancy because it does look somewhat different, right? Yeah. And the other I wonder ones. what the criteria is. It's going to be like grading criteria, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, but this, this doesn't look good. I don't like still this. Young. Anybody can have this. I don't even care about this card. Card number five. That's interesting. Because I think his other card was card number four. Garbage. <laughs> I don't want that card. That card doesn't even deserve a plastic container. All right, next. I mean, who knows? This is like a good idea on who to get on the show next. Yeah, get Paul. people with the hey, cards. I got your card, yeah. yeah. You want to come well, see it? do you know? So I had Bam Bam Barberina on UFC fighter, and I told him I'm gonna do some unboxing. And I was like, when I get a Bam Bam Barberina card, I want you to sign it. And he's Ooh. like, I don't, I'm not on any of these cards. And I'm like, oh, you must. There You're a freaking legend. Then we look it up on eBay, and there's his card. And he's like, I didn't know this. They didn't so, ask him. No. Oh my god. Like I guess they don't need your permission. So. Amir All right. Al-Bazi. Amir Al-Bazi. Get you on the podcast, my friend. Get over here. Tom oh, Aspen. Tom Aspinall. He's Canadian, right? No, no, no. English. He just fought oh. the main event and then he got injured with the leg, remember? Against Blades. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that card would have been worth a lot of money, but not now. That's okay. So potential in here. Yeah. Derek oh, Brunson. that's a big one. My boy, Blonde Brunson. That's I like one. that one. All right. Fancy mm -hmm. card. Cool. Doesn't look so fancy. I already cool. saw spoilers spoiler. and everything. Yeah. Ugh, God. Corey Sandy. Whoa, whoa. Wait, this is the bonus card? Yeah. So there's nothing then. No, no, no. This pack has nothing. I guess no. Uh, that's pretty shit. Sandhagen is a good card. Okay. Do you like Sandhagen? Yeah. I do not like this. Dude. How come? I he fights know. really like his his fight with um Peter Yan yeah. was like the most technical fight I've ever seen in my entire life. But I think it's his personality. I just, I don't know. There's just something about him that He's I'm not... He's a team alpha male guy, right? Wait, so this pack had nothing. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, Corey. Corey okay, is here. So I hold mean, on. So maybe now I do want that Jan Blackwood special. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, I, 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 thought, I thought every pack would have something special, but this pack had You'd literally think, nothing. Right? They don't really say anything about that, do they? I don't know. Figure it out. All right. Opening the last pack here. Is this worth $50? That's what, you know? I mean, you're literally gambling here. How rich are you? If you're buying a lot of these things, you know what I mean? Finding them is the problem too. Finding, finding them, them is hard, man. Yeah. Yep. Umar. Umar. Nurmagomedov. These cards are a little bit funny too. They're like, you bent. guys can't tell, but they're, yeah, they're kind of, they're not straight. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not like straight, straight, but I don't know. Umar Nurmagomedov. Brandon Roybal. Oh, that's a nice uh, photo. Mm -hmm. Wait. 
Am I close spinning enough elbow? to the camera here? That's a nice picture. So, yeah. Spinning elbow, yeah. Oh, my boy! Ooh. Dude, do you know how bad I want Adrian Yanez on the podcast? Really? Yes, because he's really the guy that fought. Uh, he's the guy that fought. Well, have I reached out to him? I don't even know that I have, really. <laughs> I'm just hoping he just randomly calls me and says, I'd like to call your podcast. <laughs> no, no, but you he's else. the guy that fought this guy, Tony Kelly. After mm. Tony Kelly did the, did the racist stuff with Andrea KGB Lee. Mm. And Giannis is the guy that put him out. I remember that stuff. And the crowd was going bonkers. Yeah. I had a post on my Instagram that said he's the greatest Brazilian of all time. And he's Mexican. <laughs> but because he stood up for Brazilian uh, people, right? <laughs> Adrian Giannis, dude. Brazilian. Freaking cool. Okay, this is a good card. But again, if you want these cards, just message that you want it. Here's our fancy one. Whoa. Oh. That's cool. That's really cool. Oh. Who's she fighting? That's for uh uh claudia gadea maybe i i'm guessing that from the braids but i'm not 100%. yeah that's and the cool. black check the, the back black of that. oh no no wait if she's fighting someone in no that's not black and gold though right so that's not a champion fight dude that's, that's cool true. fireworks thug rose namunis has proven time and again that you don't need to be a heavyweight in order to deliver fireworks in the octagon the two-time 115 pound champion earned victories in five of her first eight ufc victories with both of her strawweight title clinching wins coming via knockout that's the reason they they made it fireworks. that's beautiful dude oh wait no there's there's like a grading system there's a lot of different cards now all right that's a nice oh, card so though. each category of these fancy cards you can get up to like 25 of them so if you flip it on the back, <laughs> there's right. up to 25 of these, and this is number six. Oh, you don't think this is number six in the series? No, you think of, this is number of six five rows? No, of the fireworks series. Oh, oh, oh there's other see. fireworks cards. Again. So I guess it's just like heavy Ooh. hitters and stuff like that. That's a beauty. Mm -hmm. All right. So question is, if this box was like you know around 50 bucks, now I've got to you know price out what these you know expensive cards are. So again right like how much are these expensive cards worth did i get my money back who's who the hell's gonna buy this from me the volk one's gotta be the volk volk is like a great maybe. one he's like an old company you know and then like this fireworks that one's gotta be nice people would love rose as well yeah people so there's gotta be some like fan favorites of her the yan ones are like i guess whatever tony just tony lost more valued recently but maybe someone <laughs> who's like starting to create a, a collection you know i should have opened the pack of cards earlier sold tony oh. quick and now it's lost value <laughs> Or you would have been on here thinking, like, if he wins, though, it's going to be worth more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Shoot. your bet would have just ate it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put this one away. I will put the yawn away as well. But again, so that's UFC Prism, Panini Prism 2022. You see the box down there, over there. Not bad. Not bad. This it's fun. Cool. I mean, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Which ones are we uh, opening next? Let's go for this plastic one. The, the small see, pack, yeah. I okay, so this one I got. Message. This one I got from uh, Walmart, and this was twenty five bucks, twenty six bucks. There's like candy. Thirty candy. cards at like a gas station. Yeah, hanger pack. Like this was, I think that was like twenty four cards or something. Yeah, six times four. Yeah, yeah, twenty four cards for Sorry, double the price. That. So you're getting double the cards for half the price, but this is the Don Rust series, so I'm betting it's not going to be all shiny and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Do the honors, buddy. I hope it's not just 30 cards it's all like falling out. I hope there's garbage packs cards. inside of there. No, 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 no. It's good. No, there's no way they're packs inside. It's just garbage cards. Or oh, just 30 cards. I think so. Now, if it's packs, then this is way worth it, but no way. Oh, yeah, there's just really like a lot of cards in there. <laughs> Okay. It's like a, Wait, show it in the camera. Can you show that? What it, yeah. you know? So th you can see there's something in the middle. I'm assuming maybe those are fancier cards that seem maybe. to be splitting the... Uh, you do not know how to open these properly. Yeah. There's no instructions, so I'm just going to wait. Yeah. Better keep these in mint condition. I hope you don't care about this packaging because I'm no. tearing it up. I will keep the packaging in case anybody for some reason says I want the pack. Oh, okay. Starting Wait, can strong. you put it closer to the camera? Starting off strong. Not bad, not bad. There's another mm -hmm. Sandhagen. You hate him? Oh, wait, there's a green. Oh, there's oh, a couple. Oh, don't, don't, don't tell. Do oh, this. smart. So those middle things were something special. I learned that from the Pokemon stopped. guys. Yeah? Yeah, that's what they do. They like count it, and then they flip it to the back, and then they, they always have the oh. nicest card at the end. Gunner, Gunner Nelson. Nelson the this worst. feels like I haven't heard this name in a very long time. No. 
<gasps> this is one of my favorites, dude. Cool. The next guy. He's one of my favorite fighters. Jesus, really? Yeah, I love this guy. Yeah, but you, he just had so bad luck. Corner. Yeah. Mm, what is he? I know. But he just had bad luck. He lost some fights. But, dude, I love this guy. He's always a banger, though. Yeah, it's too bad. Here go for it. <laughs> Here, I'm, I apologize. Here, put it a little bit closer. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you go for it. I think mean, these look just like standard trading cards. These you know are I mean? like, like yeah, the other these ones, are, yeah. Trying to be flashy, but these yeah. are like cool. Santiago. Ponzinibbio. Ponzinibbio. This is when my boy Bam Bam Barbarino wanted to fight, but he got matched up with someone else. Cool tattoos. Yeah. Not bad, not Pretty bad. Pretty sweet. Next one. Ronnie Yaya. Ronnie. Interesting. Amanda Ribas. Uh, That's a good one. Of all the photos you could take of Amanda Ribas, I guess. This is the worst. Right? Because she's a good looking girl. Mm -hmm. Oops. All right. Oh, a Sun Sao. A Sun Sao. That's a good one. Sure. Well, oh, I'm going to put the. Oh, okay. I'm not going to put the box up. So this, this is not. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt Schnell. Hold on. I will go put it up just in case. Just in case people are mad that we didn't do it. But it's not going to look good, anyways. Okay, well, let me just try to just organize this really quickly. That's very even. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, these are pretty. You could have just kept like going. It's fine. Just yeah. action shots and all that. Forest oh, Griffin. Forest Griffin. The there you go. This is Old school. A, I thought this was a twenty twenty two pack. <laughs> this is super. This is a cool one though. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Oh, Muslim, Muslim Salikov. Salikov. Yeah, that's cool. His eye looks a little weird there. Okay, these cards are pretty cool. I mean, not the bad. forest one. I I really like the forest one. Forest. Yeah, yeah, that's a good card. You want that card? Okay, that's a Brandon thank you gift for co-hosting today. Alex oh, oh this that's is one of nice my one. favorites. I mm -hmm. love this guy. Cowboy, fat cowboy, right? Yeah, love this dude. I love this tattoo. Bisping. Oh, Bisping with the title. I like that. Wow. Bisping's a good dude. I didn't like him until I found out that he was actually blind in one eye. And yeah. then I realized how difficult that it must have been. <laughs> okay, so you didn't like him for his whole career. <laughs> it was okay. He just talked, like, especially when he was fighting GSP, he was just talking way yeah, too yeah, much. Yeah. And like... Yeah. It's like come down a little bit again. Another like, we were here. Megan? No, we were here before. What do you mean? Like this is before I flipped it. I decided. Oh, put a card in here. but we had Sandhagen in the other card. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. I think we had one of those. Put that one aside. I'm gonna compare Sandhagen cards. Max Holloway. That's a nice one. There you go. Any Max yeah. Holloway fans? Shout it out. Juliana Pena, with the title. This is a nice. Oh, one. Oh, so sad. That's pretty wicked though. That it's the card with the title. You know? Right. This is just cool. Like, oh, Volkov. Wow. Nice. The big boys. Zabi. It was a beat. He was the one. I think I'm pretty sure he yes, was the yeah. one. Yes, yeah. No, well, Zabi's right? the one that, yeah, he just quit. Yeah, because then he said the COVID hurt him too much and he got like another, a better job or something. What better job? I don't know. He's in, he was like freaking 6'4. Yeah, but he, six, he couldn't last more than two rounds. Yeah. No offense. Chan Sung Jun. Oh. oh, Korean. Korean in the house, baby. This one's awesome. Yeah, that's a good oh, one. I'm going to save this card for my wife, so nobody can have this card. I remember that Aldo thing was what made me really yeah. like, popping his arm back in. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, they were together in the yeah, pack. They were cute. buddies. Aldo just retired. Mm -hmm. that's so this card one. is worth a lot. That was interesting. I mean, I guess he... No, he said he only had one more run left, and he yeah. lost, so I guess that was time. Glover. Oh, Glover, former champion. I think he beats Yuri next time they go. I pray to God he does. Mm -hmm. That would be an interesting fight, though. Yeah. He was winning that so hard. Cavillo. Cavillo. I like her. Team Alpha Male. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad card. Augusto Sakai. Oh, That's yeah. a strange pose. <laughs> it just it's, got the, it's got the boob. They just like, kind of picked whatever they wanted. Oh, here's a little Carosa. something. We, oh. had this, we had her already. Yeah, but this is a uh, rated rookie card. That's got to be something fancy because it looks different than the rest. In fact, the UFC has been roughly equivalent to firing up a buzzsaw and getting to work. Rated rookie. Let's put that away. Oh, then something else fancy. Stipe. Stipe. That is a... Do we think this is an actual fancy card here? I mean... Maybe. It's kind of disrespectful that they chose him in his old dad phase and missing a punch. I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> missing a punch. Come on. Like yeah. it, it, it's like really this is a card for the other guy who's uh yeah. perfectly slipped the punch. Slipped the cross. Pretty sure that's Cormian. Yeah, Olympian. Olympian. Really? 
Huh. Pretty sure, because he he looks like a like an old dad here. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah. on the second fight, I think. Or the I am fight. I am the I am like I have zero care for Stipe. You know why I don't like Stipe? Because he disrespects his wife on every mm, um, I've embedded seen video. Yeah, I've seen that. Like his wife will, no, and his wife will call him on the phone, and he'll be like. Huh? What's that? What's that? And then just hangs up on her, and he like does it as a goof. And I'm like, dude, why can't you just be respectful of your wife? The camera's like on you. Like, I don't know. I, I think his like problem that. was that he was a great fighter, but there were just too many stars in that division. Like John Jones, yeah. Then Francis, then Daniel Cormier. Like he was great because he could stand yeah. toe to toe, but then he started to slip too, too drastically. No, no Ooh. care for that guy. Ooh, production line, Hello, twenty Francis. second knockout. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Another Francis card. Okay, I like that one. Let's this is it. definitely. Are we putting this craftsman away? If anyone wants this craftsman, I do not want this. So come and get it. I don't want that. It's an interesting one. And then we have another Max Holloway. Oh, oh Max that's Holloway. nice. Octagon. Okay, Marvel. dude, that's, that's cool. cool. You definitely got to like display this one. Yeah, that one's this not bad. Cool. Like a comic book version. What's on the back of that? Oh, I saw something. Oh, this is cute. This is cool. <laughs> cute. <laughs> it's so cute. All right, that's pretty cool. I like that, nice man. One. Yeah. Oh, another craft. Okay, oh, there, so see, uh, here we go. go. So here's a craftsman card, but now this, this craftsman nice card. card has a bit of a shine. To- can you see that in the camera? Yeah, yeah you can super see the reflection. Shine, super reflection. Is green? Green? Mm-hmm. I think so. I guess yeah. like the green prism. This is their version. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a nice one, though. Oliveira, one that's of cool. my favorite champions, other than Moreno. Is he? Does he beat uh, Makachev? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. So do I. Bet your money on him. All right. Cavillo, if yeah. anybody wants this card, wait. This is the fancy one. You can literally away. have. <laughs> you have to give away the other one. This is the fancy one. No, I don't care. Why would I? Team Alpha Male. No, I like her, but I mean, like you know. Okay, fine. I'll put it in a thing, but I'll I'll mail it to you with a little plastic. That's how generous I am. Gregor. Oh, Gregor Gillespie. I like this dude, man. I, he has not fought in forever. I don't know what's happened. Oh, that's our last card. Shit. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Well, right. again, if you want the Gregor Gillespie card, have at it. The Oliveira one's definitely got to get. Cynthia Cavillo, you can have. Uh, Gregor Gillespie, you can have. All right. Well, what do you think of that pack for 30 bucks? This is, I like, it was cool because you get Forrest Griffin. Um, <laughs> so for one card, and it was a regular. Yeah, you know, I don't know because like it's it's cool because you got like different ones. It's not just like the new roster because the roster changes so often. And I like this one because it's like very like if you like Old a fighter school. and you get the card exactly. This is more like a classic trading card, like collectible. Yeah, card. yeah. Like the other one is like the fireworks and like you have to get like different it's like versions. Too fancy. Yeah, but this is cool. Like, if you like these fighters, these are great. Okay, like so just a nice one to have. Yeah, and so just to put it in a context, we got all of these fancy cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm-hmm. Right? Sorry for the lights. Oh, from the same pack. From the same for oh, that okay, one twenty-six dollar pack mm-hmm. versus uh in the last box that we opened, we got four fancy cards. The problem is these are not like superstar power. Like I don't see anybody. But the people? Yeah, yeah like, that's just our bad luck. Yeah, like I don't see well, Yon, like Yon, fighting hold on, hold on eBay on. auctions. Yon for Yon. Tony. I mean, Tony is pretty much kind of like... Uh, He's a big bomb, though. Sure. But you got Max Holloway here in this cool Marvels. I suppose. Rose versus with Nganu, the maybe, Rose value-wise. Cool one. Okay, this one's the best. That one's oh, definitely the best one that we've gotten. Because he's the reigning champion, and he's been around for a long time, and it's just the coolest And card. it looks cool yeah. as hell. This is a nice card. All right. I don't know, but if I if I was spending money, would I want two of those packs instead of one box of Prism? I don't know. Maybe I would. I guess for the value, yeah. But and then let's just do this. Here's the two Corey Sandhagens we pulled. So then, when you look at that in terms of you know which card you like, sorry for the bit mm-hmm. of a focus, but he's just like doesn't look amazing, yeah. Which he just kind of like looks... in general as a human being. Uh yeah. This one you get no nonsense Keith Peterson as well. Yeah. So I like that. They, I would really actually scratch this off and put no nonsense Keith Peterson. This is the ref series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why aren't there refs? You know, actually on the podcast. Hate the refs. Okay, on the podcast, we had uh, announcer Joe Martinez. 
And I asked him, I said, are you in the cards? Like, do they have announced, like announced your cards? He goes, no, fucking no. <laughs> like, those ones are like, he was mad that he wasn't in it. You barely see he should be, guys, you know? And like the only oh, reps yeah, that have like crazy star power is like what? No, like, no, but an announcer, an announcer is like big, you know? I suppose. Mm. Where's your card? Which cards are you keeping so far? These, well, we're putting these two aside. No, no, you're keeping Forest. Forest and, uh, and Chenzo. Okay. All right, which one do you want to do next, my friend? You got more Don keep, Russ. You want to keep going with the same type of card? Yeah, we got to keep the best. Yeah, the most expensive and then this one. is the most yeah. expensive. All right, open it up, buddy. So, if you're new to this podcast because you're here because of the unboxing, thank you. Uh, we're a combat sports podcast. We talk to people all over the world: UFC fighters, one FC fighters, BKFC fighters, uh, amateurs, pros, doesn't matter. Muay Thai, um, you know. Tons of people, so go check it out. I think this is going to be around episode 87, so that you've got 86 other episodes to look at. Uh, come join us, man. Follow, subscribe, do all that stuff. There, our links are down below. Okay, this one we got to really bang through it because there's okay, 20 <laughs> cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be fast. There's like a hundred something cards in here. Okay, let's open two packs at a time, and then just. I mean, we're at 30 minutes. We're doing. We should decent. do. We should do what uh, the Pokemon people do, and uh, like. You get a pack, I get a pack, and then our best card versus the worst card. Are you serious? Let's see who, who does the best. Okay, you want to do that? These are hefty. Yeah, these cards are heavy, man. Okay, here, wait. So we gotta, gotta oh, we get six bit. packs of... Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, not bad. Pass me the box. The box All right, so yeah. explain to the people what we're going to do. There's 90 cards in here. So we're each going to pick a pack, and then we'll go through it. Kind of very quickly, and then whoever has, I guess we have to go by feel, right? Because it's kind of subjective. So whoever has the coolest card, and then that's kind of what we go off of. All right. Okay, so I'll take this one to start. Our thing is over there for me to display because we have so many cameras going on with this thing. All right, so what are we doing? We each grab one. Yeah, we each grab one, and then we just kind of go through it real quick. Okay. And then whoever has the coolest card. Wait, without showing you? No, we'll show it. Like, well, you go first, and then I'll go, and then we'll mm -hmm. see who got like the better pull. And then that's kind of how we'll keep it running, shall we? Have it. Seems like there's a fancy card in the middle again. In the middle? Okay, awesome. So, you know what? Just feel like that. Cut, yeah. cut it right before that yeah, one, yeah, and then yeah. flick it right to the top. Okay, so we're just going both. Kind of thing. Tom Swanson versus. Oh, so oh, I see. At least Harry, you I win. win this one. All right. For sure. Throw Aspen Lad. That was a good one, but I still win. Aspen Lad can't make weight ever. Oh, yeah. She just missed it again. Right? Oh, shit. This is a tough one. Raquel Jeff Pennington. Neal, future champion, but Raquel Pennington, former guest of the podcast. One of the, I think she was the first female guest we ever had. We're allowed to be biased here. So, so I do I love win, Raquel. Unfortunately. Yeah. Raquel. <gasps> Angela Hill. Okay. Darren Till. Okay, that one's. Who wins this? Darren Till. Darren Till wins. Angela Hill has blocked our podcast okay. on Instagram because I wrote that she should not be bad mouthing people on stage. She uh, bad mouthed Tisha Torres at a press conference. Oh my God. And I wrote it nicely, but she blocked us immediately. So fuck her. Some people cannot take any criticism yeah. at all. Not That's even pretty like... crazy. And it was polite. Yeah. I just said you shouldn't accuse someone of taking drugs if you have zero proof and she's never been knocked. She hasn't responded. She just straight blocked. No, she just straight blocked. Of course. Right. Cool. Roxanne so, Modafferi, one of my favorites of all time. I win this one. Okay. I'll, 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 so I win too. Darren Elkins. Gustafson. Gustafson. That's no brainer. Really? That's, this is the guy that almost beat John Jones. But Darren Elkins is like a, he's really freaking cool, man. This is, Look at him. He's, he's yeah, badass. Bro. I like him. All right. I don't know. Fine. Ooh. Wait, didn't these guys fight? Did they? I feel like these two just fought. Lineheart is a sick guy, though. Who won that? Whoever won that Ankle is the one. Okay, there we go. All right. Joanne Wood. Again. You're right. We've done this so many times. That's awesome. Dude. That one's really cool. That's cool. Who wants this? This card. Come get it. You're I, right, like, I like that there's like the old ones in here. Yeah. Okay. Vivian. What? Oh, no shot. The Black Beast. Yeah. Oh, wait. He's, even, he's even ready. Yeah, I like this card. That's a good photo. Of yeah, him. that's a good one. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite cards that we've pulled so far. Uh, awesome. Did you know that Vivienne Arujo, she's main eventing? What? Uh, when I released this podcast, she either main evented the week prior 
or she's main eventing this week. So we've got to sell this ASAP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if she wins, nobody can have that. Chika Chikadze. Alex Perez. Uh, Chikadze. Chikadze was big like when him. he was big, but now he's kind of like, yeah. I don't even know what he's up to. All right. Oh boy, Yair Rodriguez. For a second, I oh. thought that was Corey Sanhagen again. Gastelum. Okay. I met Gastelum at King's MMA yeah, 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 yeah. in Huntington Beach. He's the nicest dude. That's a tough one. They actually look quite alike. They're both Mexican. They both got the hands and like beard. Kelvin has fallen off a bit, so I think Yair yeah. because he's yeah, yours, in more recent time. Yeah. Vicente. Oh, that's not even a contest. Boom. What do you mean? Vicente Luque for sure? No, of course not. Connor. Connor McGregor. Okay, that's cool. This is, a, this is arguably a good card. the best card we've pulled so far. Really? I if like it was only are... holographic, it would be amazing. Oh my god. Okay, this should be, be the big a millionaire. One this should be the big one. This is the big one now. We keep getting her. Rated. Dude, I get two of the same one? We have three of her, I'm pretty sure now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like two of the same. Oh, oh that's lame. Crap. That's kind of lame. Well, if you want this card, come get it. Whatever. All right, next one. Wait, who's who am I? Alex Morono? Ugh. All right. I mean, Next. He looks mad plain. Cool. Crunch this time. is awesome. This is awesome. All right. That's I pretty like cool. Jean. I love Jean. That's pretty good. That, I think the Marvels one is cooler than this. Yeah. Yeah. Jean Marvels was the same set. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I guess it was just. That's pretty cool. Everything. All right. Next one Last is one. our best card. Oh my God. What the? Yo, dude, I won this for sure. What is that? Figueredo versus Moreno. That's pretty cool. Duo. What do sure. I There's get? No shot. Yours is better. Uh, nah, arguable. No, I don't like this. This fight was amazing though, depending on which one it was. This is the second one. Though. I mean, this doesn't even look that special. What am yeah, I doing like magician here? They add the stupid little. Uh, hold he's on. he's gonna hiding from the cops. That. <laughs> <laughs> when Usada comes, Jones disappears. This yeah, is a cool okay. card though. Yeah, duos is pretty good. I wish it would be like shinier. How but much is that worth? Was an amazing fight. I love this one. This All right. Is when Moreno really like sold himself to me. So what do we think of this box? Wait, we just did the whole box in like five Two seconds. Packs. Two packs. Oh shoot! I thought that was the whole Bro. box. Dude, so this is a lot go. of cards. That's what I'm saying. All right. All right. I thought we have to go two. I've time. given up being. Uh... Oh, we're doing good on time though. All right. But I like that doing two at a time and seeing mm -hmm. who is keeping it's score a little tight. Um. I feel you won. I'll take it. I got the Conor McGregor, though. That was awesome. Okay, we have to cut the halfway yeah. point. Then bring it away. All right. Boom. Got some more doubles. Hold on. Why am I? Kafras. Oh, I like your guy. Caceres. Bruce Leroy. Cormier. Yo, this is awesome. I love this one. Jeremy. Jeremy we had that one already. Yeah, we're getting lots See, of we're getting doubles. I think this one... Like That's a smaller a, set. It maybe? might be because this one is so uh, so many cards. Double this is again. Card though. Tony Diego Ferra. This is big now. Yeah. Dang, I haven't okay. heard about this guy in so long. Oh, okay. Lauren Murphy. If you're new to the podcast, one of the best guests we have ever had on the podcast, Lauren Murphy. If you haven't seen that podcast, go check out the one with Lauren Murphy. She's so cool, man. And that was before her Misha Tate fight, when then she kicked ass against mm -hmm. Misha Tate. She's a great person, man. Lauren, Lauren Murphy, great person. I gotta get her to sign that card. I'm gonna get her to sign that card. Send it over to her. Yeah, to sign it. That'd be awesome. Jimmy, Jimmy Crew. That name sounds good. Like Jimmy Crew. He fought somebody recently, right? I'm sure they all fought someone. <laughs> Some of these are old though. Like big enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. All right. Cerulean. Michelle. Sarah Ferrara. McMahon. She just got screwed over by uh, Aspen Lad a few weeks oh, ago. Oh yeah. Aspen Lad didn't make weight, and then so here's the weird thing on that. Sarah McMahon. Uh, Aspen Lad missed weight by two pounds. Three pounds? Three, three, but you get one pound allowance. Okay. For non-title. Sarah McMahon, I think, then turns down the fight. Why would you not just fight her? I, If you're Sarah McMahon, you got to think you can beat Aspen Ladd. So I, that was weird to me. There's a know. story there. But the There's thing is, like, I was thinking about that as well. It's like, at least you get the win bonus and everything. Like, that win bonus. <gasps> but, Bilal uh, Muhammad. Ooh. One of the greatest sunglass models of all time. This against is... Brian Ortega. These are getting better. I mean, These are getting better. Good people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Good photos. These cards are nice too. Like, people don't realize these cards are thick. Mm -hmm. It's like, like definitely like card again. Song or something. Yeah. Yeah. Camera. This was very sad, but. Ooh. All right. This is a nice one. Rackage. 
Oh, Jennifer Dustin. Maya. Oh, Dustin Poirier. That's a good one. The best non-champion. Cerrone. Peter Yan. Oh, Peter Yan. That's a nice one. Guys, again, you want this card? Just let me know. These are getting nice at the end. Yeah. Oh. Los Angeles. Cannoneer, future champion, possibly. You think? I don't know. I feel like... If he rubs the right uh, stone and gem, he believes in that. Praise to everybody. Reyes. Tabura. I win this one. Dumb. That's a pretty oh, nice yeah. card with Reyes. Also, the second guy to almost Are basically these focus? John I can't tell. I feel like I'm too close, maybe. Sorry. sorry, guys. It's not great in focus. I think the camera maybe because it's trying to focus on two things. Mm, potentially. Ooh, John Jones. Figueredo. Fat John Jones. This is a good picture of Figueredo. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's a nice one. Mid punch. John, fat John Jones. That's pretty wicked. <laughs> Oh, another oh. one. This is cool. These oh, wait. I got awesome. less cool cards this one. Oh, for your second one. Oh, this is your last one? No, I got one more card. Wait, is this the same card? Craftsman again? Oh, my God. We keep getting Yawn. Yeah, God damn, Yawn. Oh. oh. We have too many Yawns. Okay, I don't know. I, wonder what I feel like is. we got this already. I feel like No, we, we got the Stipe one, so it looks similar. Oh, this is... <laughs> right, I thought it's the same guy. All right. This I like cool. your marbles. Yeah. That's pretty good. All right, and... and... Crunch time. Right, yawn, bro. Like, we keep getting yawn. God, yawn, get the hell out of here. This is so lame. All right, right. <laughs> That's cool. Purple. Oh, my God. Sky. We did right. bad picture again, but now it's shiny at least. I mean, that's that's the most disappointing probably you could get mm. as a shiny. Purple shiny. I would have rather had another Cynthia Cavillo shiny. Mm. All right. Whatever. Picture. It's all right. Cool tattoo, though. Fine. The Dustin Poirier Marvels is pretty good. That cool. makes up for it. All right. So last much yawn, though. Oh my gosh. So much yawn. Yeah. Last pack here? Yeah. All right. All right. So this box was, what did I say? 40? $26. No, 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 no. 26 was a single pack. Oh, yeah, yeah. 40 bucks. like 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 45, something like that. Not bad. Mm -hmm. What are you getting? I mean, you're getting a lot of cards. So if you're a kid, I mean, do kids even buy this stuff anymore? I feel like it's just ad dumb adults. No, like every, everybody collects cards now. Kids? Because of Jake Paul. Yeah. All because of the Pokemon stuff. Trust me. They, no, but, no, but at this stuff. cost, at this cost, That's you got to be, you gotta be an adult. You got to really like right? UFC stuff. Yeah. Bryce Mitchell. Right. This is the Jiu Jitsu Navio. country yes. guy, right? Love that guy. Arkansas, baby. Arkansas. Ronnie, no, yeah, yeah. Chuck Liddell. Chuck I want this one Dell. easily. This is awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Put it aside so you know to keep it. Shabazian. Another Amanda Hibos. Interesting. Again, bad photo of her. Cain Velasquez. <gasps> old old Cain Velasquez. This is when they had the yellow. I think it was, that was 200, uh, right? 100. Was it 100? Or, I was, it was the one 200, where they had, maybe yeah, 200. They had like the yeah. yellow shorts and everything. So did you know we did a good podcast with a lawyer, Daniel Martinez, broke down the Cain Velasquez case oh. right when he got arrested. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Okay, and we uh, and we broke down like what the charges were why he's not going to get bail and all that and sure enough now he's been three times no bail keeps saying tonight i have a whole bunch of video clips of stuff that uh hold on let me just play one quick one a whole bunch of video clips from a recent thing i mean this is crazy this is funny when um the so the <laughs> the news lady interviewing the uh kane velasquez's lawyer on court tv is like asking me all these questions, but I'm like, okay, but you realize this guy fired a gun into public. Like you can't do that. But the reporter was really kind to this guy. And uh, finally at the end, she asked this question, which I thought was so funny. Mark, can you tell us, was it a chance encounter that these two cars see each other on the road? I'm not going to get an idea that I... Okay. <laughs> she knows it's not a chance encounter because yeah. he chased the guy down the road to get him. Can you know what I mean? Like, spin this weird oh, I'm running out of power here. Five percent. All right, hold on. I'm gonna have to. Pause. I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, all right, keep going. Hold on. Let me go plug this in. Tanner Bowser. Do I just keep going? Yeah, yeah. Do yours. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, but the volume. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna move this a little bit. Sorry, keep going with yours. Ige again. Vittori. 
getting a good amount of dupes on this one. I mean, Vittori is a new one, but Vittori is also like whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! How many Another versions yarn. of this are we gonna get? I got Brendan Allen, Santos. Hold on. I don't know if you're hearing that echo. Andre Arlovsky. And it. I got Dillashaw. Snake in the grass. <laughs> Holy home. That's a cool one. Hooker. Magni. I don't like Hooker just talked a lot of shit to somebody. Recently. He's yeah, been talking to, shit about um someone that's running away. Someone. Too much. Rob Fox. Dariush. Oh, that's a good one. Did yeah. you meet him too? I met Dariush down in uh, Huntington Beach. Costa. Shuke. Oh, Costa's one of my favorite fighters now. He's so funny. The he, crap he's doing. He has the best clips on the Ariel Hawani show. Yes. Just now. It's like the he's haircut really thing. good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Shuke again. Leon Edwards. Nganu. Is this? This is not. No, there's no way. But he's, he's looking at the belt. I think this is after DS. When he's like, hey, maybe, I need maybe. that. I need that. Craftsman just put on a good fight. People man. love this. This is a, I don't know. I like this guy. Yeah. And that's like a good card. suit thing was going on. Yeah. That was really funny. And then production line, John Jones. Jessica I. That's oh. a good one. What? It's all right. No. Jessica I. You don't like Jessica okay, I? Watch this. Watch what I'm going to pull here. That looks cool already. John Jones, oh. Alexander Gustafson, duos, and it's shiny. Was your duo shiny? No, mine was crappy. Pull that up, pull that up, and let's see. That's not Look fair. At that. Look at the difference. There you go. So that's an that that's a good example now of what the difference is, right? This is this, this was, was a better, better grade. Fight too. Yeah, and it was a better card. Ooh, that's pretty wicked. Look at that. Hey, not bad, man. Mm -hmm. These ones are all right. Yeah, lots of good stuff there. Oh, we're done with this one. So it's on to the last one. All right. So what are we doing now? Last box. Last one. Here you are. The last prism one. No, no. Go ahead. You do the honors. This is the twenty-four cards again. This one. These ones are actually not bad. Like twenty-four cards, but at least you can. If your luck is really good, you get really nice cards on those. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn this off because I'm getting a bit of echo here. So you're not going to see us anymore. So say goodbye to the camera. All right, see you later, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to turn this off because we get echo. All right. All right, so we have the last one. Present. Right, there we go, yeah, yeah. All right, you can see it now. Hold on. Oh, yeah. John Glover. Olivera, Volk. We already got a cool Volk, so. Six yep. inserts or prism parallels per box on average. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. So now let's see what we get. Yeah. If we get at least get six. six. Did we get six on the other one? I don't think they advertised that, though. But. So what it's saying is that you get at least, well, hopefully you get one. One per pack. Yeah. One per pack, yeah. Oops. Sorry. I mean, it's like buying chips, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be bad. Like it's gonna like fly around and like could bang it up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me put this away. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'm gonna start with the first one. There's four cards. I don't know which one's gonna be the, the super fancy one, but we're gonna find out, I guess. Okay, so we start from the we start from the front again. So the, the super I didn't see it, but the hollow card is at the back. All right. Nope, Ooh. it's at the front. No, because then these are what they all look like. Oh my god, this is this is the expensive pack. Oh, so you're getting a nice card. So nice. this is the fifty dollar one. Yeah. Right. Dan Hooker. So now we cool see one. if this is worth it. Tiago Moises. Interesting. You're spoiling that we got a gold. Wait, gold's got to be good. Umar. Magmeta. I feel like we have this one already. Gold one. No, no, no. But the, okay, we have him. That's awesome. Oh, that looks really awesome. That's really good. He's now, like, can we tell what the hell the odds are of this? 
Oh my god. Six per there's like a million words. You're never gonna get it. Yeah, that is so funny. Okay, so what on the pack here, it explains like all the ratios that you can get. So like green prisms, black prisms, numbers 25 to one, global icons, flash prisms, and new flash prisms, rookie signature, flash prisms, blah, blah, blah. Like 10 to one odds on average, but like, this is a cool God one. knows what the All averages right. are for it. That's blues, gotta be worth something. These the blues, blues gotta normal. be like the normal ones, yeah. Well, I guess we'll see. But that yeah. gold uh, max, hold on, you put it away. Beautiful. That's a good one, nice. Mm -hmm. I very much like that one. Yeah. It's worth money. That card's got to be worth 50 bucks so I don't lose my money. <laughs> Should look some of them up after. Actually, I will. Khabib. Ooh. It's a nice one. Yeah. I like this. Oh, it's a big Khabib guy. Yeah. Another mess. Wait, oh, that's, that's the a, same. Hold yeah. on. So that's the same card. And there you go. So there's your gold version and your blue version. It's crazy how we've only have 24 of these, but we're getting dupes already. <laughs> Hi. All right. BJ Penn. Wow. Whoa, that's, cool. that's a good one. There this go. is the old days. See, I don't think he's wearing, is he wearing a, a, Re a Reebok stuff? You know what's weird? Does it look like they've erased the logos off the oh, shorts? No, they didn't do that for Chuck. Maybe because it's a different pack. No, but maybe. But maybe yes. this one, or, I actually, or because that's Reebok. Potentially, it makes sense. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, that that's asking. crazy if they did that. This is definitely not the Reebok play kit. And our gold one. Uh, Some guy, Ilya Tupuria. Wow. If you are an Ilya Tupuria fan, you would be like so wow. happy with that card. You'd be like, yes, this is the greatest. Wow. I'm still Bye. laying out hope for Uriah Hall card. Oh, that's right. That's what you wanted, right? Uriah yeah. Hall. In truth, the card I want is uh, Edson Barboza or Bobby Green. I would die. Bobby Green. I would die for a Bobby King Green card and a Bam Bam Barbarina card. That would be Bob. a good one just for the just show. Just because he's my best yeah. friend. Present company excluded. All right. Bam Bam Barbarina, baby. Next Let's one. bring it home. Peter Yon. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah, oh, Tupuria. God. See, we're getting so many dupes. Tupuria again. Yannick oh, Pini God. Pinitskaya. I mean, the fact that... Hmm? I don't know. I mean, the fact that you can get a Yana Kunitskaya card, no offense, means that they must have everybody on the roster. Yeah. So the fact that you're getting duplicates seems weird because it's like, yeah. wait, how the hell can Especially you get for a Yana like Kunitskaya? Elite. We do not get a fancy one again. Yeah, no. We got Robert Whitaker. No fancy card? Nope. Robert Whitaker, though. That's bad. So that uh, means we're going to be below average. We're not going to get our six. Best non champion. One of the best <sighs> non champions. All right. What is that? How many more packs do we have? Two more. Three. Two more packs only? No. Yeah, we didn't get three. Fancy. Oh, three. Okay. Three packs. Three packs. All right. Hold on. We didn't get a fancy one. That one. You got to pull the double. So two. Oh, my God. A double? Never going to happen. That's like 50% of the cards are, are yeah, yeah, cards. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where's the fancy one at the back? Yeah, the, the front? This, this is the fancy one. If it is fancy at all. All right. Gaslam. Calvin Gaslam. That's a nice one. Not bad. Wait a second. They have removed. No, this is a Reebok kit. Okay, but why does his shirt look like that? Like, why does just, it look like it's you can see on. it's kind of like just like white. Okay. Maybe. Brandon Moreno. Moreno. That awesome. That's a nice one. That's gotta I mean, be these, after the these, champion. Are, these are nice cards, man. These mm -hmm. are nice cards. Casey Cat is it King Casey O'Neill? I think that's her name. I thought that's King nice. Kevin Casey. I don't know. I think you're thinking Casey Kasem. Ready? Yep. Oh, Ooh. thank God. Hulk. Nice. We got okay, hold on. This is Hulk weird. Cards, I guess. Is this the fancy version in this series? Because the other cards all look like this. Hold on. Go grab those guys. Like the first packs we opened, but they're not. They select. all look just okay. But still, I, like for this to be fancy, it looks like the regulars of this series. I suppose. Yeah, you're right. That's kind of garbage. Wait, no, we did have one that was like the UFC logo was red. I mean, it was white. 
No. I mean, imagine that was a select. This is not good. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. Interesting, because this is also a prism. Well, we had one where the UFC, let me see if I can find it really quick. I don't know. I don't like this. That seems uh, a little bit disappointing. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, it's a lower grade special because it's not fancy color, but yeah. the fact that it looks exactly like the other prism series seems kind of lame. Imagine all the blue ones are just really fancy and we're just super lucky. We just don't even realize it. <laughs> we're averaging four of four. Yeah. And we're just bit, like complaining. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're doing good on time. We're at 55 minutes. Our podcast, for those again that are new, our podcasts normally go about an hour. So, not too bad. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yawn. I mean, God damn I it. Seeing this guy. I'm going to go to Poland and yeah, sell all these cards. Yeah. yeah. Pantoja. Pantoja. I do like this guy. This guy's supposed to be the next champion. I cool. do like him. Yeah. He's a nice smile in this. <laughs> I guess. I'm just yeah. trying to find Rashad. Wow. Oh, there you That's go. That's a cool one. Yeah. Shot Evans, that's nice. This is the Reebok kit. No, so I guess I, I guess think they took they Reebok have, out. I, I think, think they, they took Reebok it out. out. Yeah, you're right, actually, because they have the tiny little logo, but the words are gone. Tiny little the, what? The tiny little logo oh. right here. But I thought the word was his name. Yeah. So it's weird that they removed it. I don't know. Maybe it's in like a Reebok right. exclusive font. And Venom didn't want that. Fancy card. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is awesome. This has to be worth money. This one looks so cool. This has to. Can you see it in the camera? Well, like, can they tell? It's hard. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's yeah. raining. It's this is very. Cool. Yeah, it's almost got like a. Um, What's four knockdowns? That's how many he had against one guy. That like that's yeah. It looks almost like acid wash or like a tie dye almost. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty I mean, cool. It, I think you can't it really see well. it in it. Yeah. It that is very cool, man. This is a very, that nice is very one. cool. It's God knows real. how much that's worth. Hundred thousand dollars. I'll see it here first. Um, what's that guy's name? Pereira beats him. Yeah, of course Pereira beats him. I believe it. Yeah, I fully believe okay, it. So there you go. That's a cool one, man. All right, here you are. Last one. Last pack, my friend. Thanks for doing this, Brandon. No worries. We've been planning to do this for a while. Uh, guys, my next guest on the podcast, I believe, if, if I release these in the order, I think I am. <laughs> uh, the next guest on the podcast is when I'm my first one back from be being on holiday. And uh, we have an amateur fighter who's fighting his first MMA amateur fight, I think. He's been a fan of the podcast for a long time. And so um, we're going to have him on. And my guest co-host is going to be um, a young lady who may be my permanent guest co-host. Interesting. Yeah, I've been looking for a permanent guest co-host, someone who has the time and the whatever. And uh, she used to run a legal podcast or a legal show on YouTube. And I... Reached out to her and she's interested. Interesting. So next week, uh, stay stay tuned for that. That's gonna be pretty cool. All right, Sean Strickland. God damn, I love this dude. What? You don't like him? No, he talks so much shit. He got destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And absolutely demolished. We also got into a lot of fights on Instagram. Me okay. and him. Yeah, yeah. He was arguing with me a lot. But you love this guy. I do because he's because <laughs> he's he's got attitude. Man. He'll, he'll just yell at anybody. Andre Muniz. Don't discredit my. Game. Oh my yeah. god! We didn't even get a special card in the last one. Hey, what you got another Kavia, your favorite. Cynthia Kavia. Okay, here we go though. Julia Avia. Congratulations to her. She's having her baby, and she was a guest on the podcast. And she promised that when she's champion, she comes on my podcast first. Really? Yeah. She's a very That's cool. She's very very cool. Our logo was actually going to be on her walkout uh, banner or something like That's that. That's awesome. Yeah, she's a really cool person. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. So you have to, you have to, congratulate her. I should see, yeah, I should see if I can get her to sign this. Mm -hmm. You got to wrap this one up, Bates. I will, I will. She shows up on the podcast, you have the card right there. Yes. All right, guys, that's it, man. So, uh, Brandon, what box would you say is the best when it came to the cards? Like, what, what I feel like this select one was the worst, just even in yeah. terms of the look. I don't think this one like I feel like the potential in this was really high because you can get all the cool stuff. The Izzy one was awesome, but like I don't think that one's enough to warrant fifty dollars and all that other stuff. I mean this one was a decent one and like they're the problem is you're getting a lot of duplicates. I don't know if I had to say one box was the best. Obviously the maybe the first one, I guess. The first prism. Yeah. This one like, I don't think this was super expensive and like the cards in here were cool. And the potential was good. Like we didn't. It was nice that we didn't get dupes, and then here we started getting dupes within the same box. You know what I mean? Yeah. But 
I don't know. The Don Russell one was all right, but I feel like there's too many common ones that it kind of washes it out. I'm going to say this one. I'm going to yeah, say the yeah. Don Russ, whether it's this one or the hanger pack. But I feel like if I'm going to spend the money, I just want lots of cards. I mean, because here, cool. here's the thing. You buy the select box, you spend so much money, and then your special card is freaking Ilya Tapuria. Is an Ilya Tapuria or a Cynthia Cavill, like someone that you don't really care about too much. Mm -hmm. No offense. I said that a lot. Too much. But it's someone that you don't really care about, and then you're only getting maybe four special cards. So if yeah. one or two of them is someone that you don't like, you kind of get ripped off. Not ripped off, but like it's kind of disappointing. At least with the Don Russ box, you get more opportunities, more chances for someone special. Yeah, and there's older people as well. And they, nice. the older people, and they also had like it's not just the prism ones, but then the ones like the production line and stuff, where it's something a little bit different. Yeah, but so, your duo one was really cool. The duo, yeah, but like or the the crunch time or the, the marvel rated, the rated well. rookies the marvels yeah you know what that's true i think i might change my mind on that the marvel ones are really cool but yeah i don't know like the common ones are kind of like too common it Nothing feels like i'm playing like yet. a video game and i'm just like kind of going through the roster <laughs> you know what i mean at least the select next, ones like next. i knew most of the people but here it's like yeah tough and like you get dupes of like people who they're really trying to push i mean you're just kind of looking at it like what the hell i don't know who these people are Look, I will trade away any of these cards for a Bam Bam Barbarina special if you've got one. But um, all right, cool, man. Cool cards. Thanks, Brandon, for showing up, man. I will do this again, like maybe in 2023 mm, new roster. when they do a new series. New and then I'll do like a bunch of cards as well. But I mean, I like that we got to try them all. They're pretty cool. Again, I've all said right, this multiple nice. times. If you want some of these cards, just message me. Put it in the comments which ones you want. I will reach out to you. Come over to our Instagram. It's at Fight Insight Podcast. Message me there. I will respond. Or you can email me at fightinsightpod at gmail.com. Guys, thanks very much. I mean, some, some cool stuff, man. And I'll uh, you know, show some of these special so the nice ones. Yeah. yeah. Here you go. That's This is the one we'll end off on. Our fancy Cynthia Cavillo. Watch, she's gonna kick ass now in the future, and we're gonna have all these cards of her. <laughs> it's like a million versions. Yeah. All right, guys, have a good one. Thank you, and uh, see you guys again. See you next week with uh, with uh, going back to our normal podcast version. See ya. See ya.